My name is Patrick Diggins. I'm the production manager at Zero Porosity Casting. We are one of the fastest growing and largest jewelry manufacturers in North America. Traditional practices involve either hand-carved waxes or injections from molds that have been previously made. This can be a tedious process. It can take up to a day, if not longer, depending on the skill level for a carver to produce a product. Clients might want to see this ring, try it on perhaps. We no longer have to wait for a jeweler to spend an entire day carving a wax. With the advancement of technology with 3D printing, we now have the capability of loading STL or 3DM files from the computer directly to the 3D printer, allowing us to produce three-dimensional models, which we can then take off the printer and then show a customer. When we were deciding which printer we wanted to purchase, Envision Tech was a clear-cut winner. We went with Envision Tech for factory for minis. Uh, we've been very happy with them, purchasing more, uh, it seems like on a yearly basis now. We direct cast the PIC 100 green material. In my opinion, one of the best material that Envision Tech offers, especially when it comes to the casting process. A customer will upload or send us a file that they have generated in computer automated design. We will then take those files, we will load them to our Envision Tech printers. From there, we will grow the pieces, whichever design they send us. The next morning, we will offload them from our 3D printers, and then they'll go into a cleaning process. We'll move that into our treeing department. From there, we will make casting trees. We'll take all the separated designs, depending on which carat of metal they're going with. Once they've been organized, we will tree them up, and then we will move them into the investing process, where we take a cement-like material and we pour it into the flask where the designs are currently sitting. That cement-like material will encase the designs and then harden. From there, we'll move into our ovens where the burnout process will take place. The waxes are then burnt out at high temperatures, leaving a negative cavity for us to inject metal into. From there, we will break apart the investment, leaving the full tree of casted rings. We'll then separate all the rings and cut them off the tree. Organizing them again depending on which customer sent in which order. Clients are very pleased with the product once it's in their hands. The high level of quality that we are able to take from a 3D printed model and move all the way to a raw casting exceeds customer expectations when it comes to delivering high quality products.